Hey everyone, Techni here, and what we're going to review today is another budget headset. And what we have is the Plantronics Rig 300. Anyways, let's pop this thing open and see what we got inside. So a couple quick things you probably wonder about that you just saw in those clips right there. Number one would probably be the ear cups and how are they detached, right? Now they just pop out. They got a couple of little uh, clips on the side and you can adjust them. That's how this headset adjusts actually. You got one, two, three little notches here. And you might be thinking, man, well that's quite limited um, for adjustment as far as head size or comfort. And honestly, it's, it's perfect. Plantronics headsets first off are so light um, that you really don't notice them on your head but anyways the three notches are honestly perfect so don't worry about um, limitations of adjustments if you've ever thought about that with the Plantronics. Secondly which was my main concern like I said I've used Plantronics headsets before so I knew they detached I knew the adjustment but what really caught my eye like how you guys saw in the other close-ups is how these ear cups are vented I guess we'll say but it's not like a closed in ear cup right it goes straight through you know let me bring you in closer just to show you one more time. All right, so here we go. So as you can see, you see how you see straight through right there? You go to the side in here. As you can see, you can see my hand through the other side. But right here is our speaker in there. And you're not touching the uh, driver straight through. It's like a layer of cloth over it. Um, but you can see straight through. So pretty much it's resting on your ear here. Then you got your speaker. And then you got all this breathability around it, right? My main concern, sound bleed. Right? Am I going to lose all of my sound with this? And honestly, you really don't lose all of your sound with it being open right there. And we'll talk a little bit more about the sound here coming up shortly. Now, the last thing that kind of concerned me about this headset was the wire going to each ear cup here. I've never used that in a gaming headset before. They always got to go into one. I've used headphones. My music headphones honestly got them going to both ears. But I thought when I was gaming that this would get in my way. And honestly, it really doesn't you pretty much forget about it the cord is pretty nice and short it's not this long massive cord by any means so honestly you forget it's right there now let's talk about some key points here we're going to cover comfort and sound and first we'll start with comfort and let me tell you these guys are cozy right and, and then being open around the ears like your ears honestly don't get hot right i mean it, it's awesome i mean they're extremely comfortable I wish there was maybe a pinch more padding at the top. I think that might be me complaining or just griping because it's not bad. But maybe just, I don't know, again, maybe just a pinch more. Again, it doesn't hurt the top of my head. It's just, I don't know, I'd rather it feel like it's floating on my head. You know what I mean? That's probably just me complaining. And now, shockingly, with the Plantronics, and especially on their um, higher-end headsets, you know, with you see those really massive, soft ear cushions, let me tell you what, you're not going to find anything more cozy than that. But even with this low-end budget headset, like, how does Plantronics do it? You know, it, it, they are so cozy. Like, their ear cushions are the best. Now, as far as durability, again, this whole thing is plastic. Um, so you might look at it and be like, man, that's kind of chintzier. That's kind of cheap, right? Everything's plastic on it. And I'm going to stop you right there because Plantronics, again, they're so light. And you might just think like, oh, it's plastic, it's light, it's a piece of junk. And they are not. Please do not think that about Plantronics. I mean, their headsets are awesome. I honestly love them. And they're incredibly durable. Here, check this out. How about that? I mean, we're bent up. We're not just straight out, right? We are bent up. So I, I think we just crushed the durability. All right, so now let's cover sound. And as y'all know, I test my headsets on the PlayStation, the Switch, and the PC. And across the board, it sounded good. And I'm just going to leave it right there as good. Not great, not the best, but good. It's passable. There's very minimal bass. I mean, you hear the bass. 
How would I explain this? I'd probably explain it as glorified TV speakers. Now I mainly use these on my console for the Switch and the PlayStation. And for that sound, I mean, they are awesome. Like, I really, really like it. All right, so we got a pass in the comfort. We passed on the sound. Now let's go ahead and test out the mic. All right, so right now I am using the mic on the headset. And while I'm doing this, I want to show you the Plantronics Rig uh, website and how they have this 300HS for all consoles across the board. We'll click on Xbox first, right? And we're going to scroll down. Oh, by the way, these guys are awesome up here. I got a review of those. Check them out. <laughs> Anyways, to my point, as you see for the Xbox, we got the 300HX right here. And it just has the green on it, right? Let's go on and go back. We're going to click on PlayStation, which is what we're using. The uh, 300HS, as you can see, just has the blue. And then so on and so forth, right? We'll go down to the the Switch one, and they have it here, the 300HC, which is silver, and the PC one is gold. The reason I wanted to kind of cover this and show you guys here is they are all the exact same, right? Don't buy a specific one for PlayStation, Xbox, PC, or the Switch or whatever. They are all 100% the same except the color. So pick whatever color you want or whichever one's on sale. All right, so we covered the mic there and, and it sounded okay, right? You, you hear kind of the, a lot of the P's and T's and some of those very light breaths right there, you know, and it also sounds a little hollow. So it's not the best, but it's not the worst. For a budget headset, I think it's just mighty fine, right? Now the head, the uh, mic boom, it comes down and it's bendable and it's, perfectly bendable i mean you can move it anywhere you can scooch it down and you can actually flip it so if you want to wear the headset on the opposite side of your head and i'm getting tangled up here you can flip it to the opposite not that you're going to talk from the back of your head but if you wanted to flip it around and have the mic over here <laughs> you know what i mean um you mute the mic by the little uh, dongle on the uh cable here and you also have your volume up and down and when you get your volume to max it kind of clicks in right there. Now, if you guys have seen my other Plantronics headset review, you know that I love Plantronics headsets. I mean, they're just so comfortable, probably the most comfortable headset you will ever find. Please try a Plantronics headset. Um, uh, definitely they're higher end ones, not, not necessarily the wireless ones, but even the wired ones. I mean, they are awesome. I think they're really take you by surprise. Their sound is crisp, it's clear, it's perfect, it's right there. And like I said, you don't pay for any of that fluff. It's, you're getting a quality, durable, solid headset. And I think you'll be extremely happy. Now, anyways, back to the Rig 300. And I really like this headset. It, again, it's not the best. It's not the worst. It's just right there at good. Regular MSRP is $39.99 on this guy. I would not pay $39.99 for it, right? You're like, what the heck, man? You just said it was good, you know? <laughs> but at $39.99... I'd recommend you saving up 10 more bucks and getting a $50 headset. And you guys know which one I recommend at 50 bucks, right? I've been leaving it in the link of all of my uh, reviews. It's also underneath the headphone and speaker playlist. So that, that's where, again, I guess my recommendation level is at. That's where my standard is, right? But again, I'm not saying this is bad. And I picked this guy up for 20 bucks out the door, shipped brand new, right? $20. And that's where I'm going to say this headset shines. 20 bucks? Wow. I mean, what a deal, you know? I mean, it's it's solid for 20 bucks. It's going to cover my Switch Play, uh, my PlayStation Play. I mean, I play both of them minimal, right? I'm usually on PC. So for that, I mean, they're fantastic. Take these guys on a road trip, you know, to be in your car. You're not going to get those sweaty ears. It's I'm telling you, if you catch these guys on sale, not necessarily the HS again, any of the 300, if you catch them for 20 bucks, pick yourself up a pair. I don't think you'll regret it, and I highly, highly recommend you try out some of the higher-end Plantronics headset. You know, they're not they're not very popular like Turtle Beach, Astro, Logitech, this and that and the other. Honestly, they took me by surprise, and they might be one of my favorite headsets out there. And again, I just want to stress, as I have in my other uh, review videos, when something's labeled budget, please don't just think it's just this automatic piece of junk right out the bag, right? Like I said, I spent 20 bucks on this thing. I put it in the budget class because that's where the price is. It's in that budget price range, right? Budget doesn't mean it's a piece of junk. It just means it's in this certain price range. So please, when you're watching reviews or, or reading about things and people say they're budget, don't just automatically think it's going to be 
garbage and not work. All right, so all in all, Techni's take on a Rig 300. Oh, man. That just flows so nicely, doesn't it? Techni's take. I'm going to start using that in my product reviews for my final conclusion. Techni's take. Mmm. Man, it just sounds so good. So, Techni's take on the Rig 300 Plantronics headset. Does it get a win? I'm gonna say yes at that $20 mark. At $39.99, save up a little money and get yourself something just a squeeze bit better. But at 20 bucks, pick this guy up. So anyways, let me know in the comments. Do you use Plantronics headsets? Have you used Plantronics headsets? Do you plan on using a Plantronics headset? Do you like them? Have you tried them and you don't like them? Let me know in the comments. I'd, li I'd really like to hear. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this one. I highly appreciate it. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for some future videos. Hey, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.